We're joined by Sanjay Jha, former spokesperson of the Congress Party, and a, a political analyst. We also will be joined by Alok Vats of the BJP and senior journalist Aarti Jairat. Right, we will get in touch with Alok Vats and Aarti Jairat in just a bit, but let's begin with Mr. Jha, who joins us on the broadcast. Sanjay Jha, even after jumping ship, Sunil Jakhar there saying even after three generations of his family had served in the Congress for about 50 years, he was stripped of all party posts for not towing the party line. You think he was dealt with fairly within the Congress party? Uh, frankly, Parmeshwar, I think the Congress party has stopped having conversations within itself. I'm borrowing the words of Mr. Rahul Gandhi, which he spoken in Udaipur. Uh, you are seeing over the last 24 hours, a young Hardik Patel who had been in the organization for two years and Mr. Jhakar who had been here for decades. And his family, by the way, has a very strong association with the Congress. What does it tell you? These are manifestations of a complete leadership breakdown. There's a trust deficit within the party. You know, I'm, I'm absolutely appalled that there are people like Mr. Jhakar leaving the Congress and joining the Bharatiya Janata Party. And, and these are people who have fought through difficult times. You know, they, they have been in opposition. They were successful in 2017 because they fought hard. And when they need a sounding board, when there are certain internecine whatever problems, the job of the leadership is to be a troubleshooter. But as Parmeshwar, you probably know what happened in Punjab. The leadership self-destructed by encouraging different factions to fight. And this is a consequence of their own trust deficit with the Congress leadership, which is why some of the most, shall we say, reliable leaders, I mean, they were also popular people at the ground level who are now deserting the party. And if a party begins to lose talent, let me tell you, it can be at a very great cost to its own future. Indeed. We also have Aarti Jairat joining us on the broadcast. Aarti Jairat, do you think Sunil Jakhar is ready for a new innings by jumping ship to the BJP? He has been considered a Congress stalwart in Punjab. That seemed to be at least the general perception of Sunil Jakhar in Punjab. You know, I, I mean, uh, I agree with everything Sanjay Shah said. Um, it's, it's a huge indictment of the Congress leadership that somebody like Sunil Jakhar, whose family has been associated with the Congress for decades, should now 50 leave. years. Yes, should now leave to join a rival party like the BJP, you know, which is deadly opposed. And, you know, in fact, it, it, it's come as quite a shock to me because I know Sunil Jakhar personally, and I know that he's not really on the same page, ideological page as the BJP. You know, it's a lot like Jyotir Aditya Sindhya. Again, another person who left, you know, despite his father being such a stalwart of the Congress party, you know, just walked out and joined the BJP. You know, I think these are manifestations of what is rotten in the Congress. It's, these are also manifestations of, I think, a deep hurt. That's, you know, Congress leaders who, are, who have been loyal to the party, have, you know, feel at what is happening, at the way they are being ignored, at the way they are not being listened to, they're not being consulted. Uh, I, you know, I think it's a huge, uh, you know, it, there is a feeling of hurt and resentment in people like Sunil Jakhar and Jyotiraditya Sindhya. And, you know, I mean, if the, if the Gandhis think that this is the way to run a party, I can only echo what Sunil Jakar said. Good luck to you. Right, Aarti Jaira, thank you for breaking down that for us and contextualizing it really. But we're also joined by Alok Vats on the broadcast. He's a BJP leader. Alok Vats, break down for us. What does Sunil Jakar bring to the BJP stable? Let me tell you one thing. I had earlier also said on your debate that now India is Congress MOOC and BJP youth. That means without the Congress and with BJP. So all these people who are suffocating and not being able to do any work under that clan, under that destined rule of only three people in India, whom people have totally rejected. So Priyanka Gandhi campaigned in UP. Ladki hu, ladsakti hu, result was zero. 
others campaigned. Only these two, three leaders, Sonia Gandhi, didn't come for campaigning because of her illness. But these people came, they have been rejected by the people. And all these Chintan Shivir and many Shivir, Dhakke Teen Part, the result is Sonia Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi, Priyanka Gandhi. So people who want to work, who want to expand their arms and do work for the country, dedicatedly, they are feeling suffocating and they will leave. There are many others who will follow. Now you see, Ardik Patel is also on the line. Maybe sooner or later he will also join us. So all those who matter and all those who want to serve the country and work for the country are feeling suffocated in the Congress. Despite all these Chintan Shivirs, there is no democracy inside the party. There is only filled by sycophants and there is no scope for any guy with little brains to work for the party and bring some laurel to the party.